longitudinal muscle fibers they get aggregated at three different portions of the large intestine one of course will be the tinea libera is the free one which is opposite to the mesentery and one which is towards the mesenteric border is the tinea mesocolica theek hai and the other portion which is away from the mesentery is called tinea omentil because cecum ascending descending and sigmoid colon ke liye ye word use karte hain locus bo retroperitoneal hue hain to jab mesentery connected with this loop as it that descends down and again buries into the parietal periphery so one border which was connected to the mesentery udhar ki tinea ho tinea mesocolica ek tinea aage ki taraf hai tinea liberi and ek tinea opposite side hai jidhar the paracolic gutters hai उधर की तरह जो टीनिया है वो कहलाएगी टीनिया ओमेंटिल टीनिया ओमेंटिल ओके ये ये टीनिया दिख रहा है दिख रहा है किसी को टीनिया टीनिया दिख रहा है है ना ये लॉन्गिट्यूडल मसल बैंड दिख रहा है ठीक है देखो ध्यान से लॉन्गिट्यूडल मसल बैंड दिख रहे हैं हाँ हाँ ओके तो ये टीनिया हो जाते हैं ये टीनिया इधर भी दिख रहा होगा तुम्हें चलती ना उसके अलॉन्ग होते हैं मोस्टली टीनिया के अलॉन्ग होती है एंड लेट मी टेल यू की ये टीनिया तो होगा लेकिन मैंने तो बताया था वो टीनिया का जो पैटर्न है वो ट्रांसफर्स कोलन में चेंज हो जाता है द रीजन इज एसेंडिंग ट्रांसफर्स एसेंडिंग तो वॉट हैपन्स इज ये इसमें पेरिटोनियम इंटैक्ट रहता है ट्रांसफर्स मिजोकोलन ये दोनों बरिड हो गए पेरिटोनियम में तो ये झूल जाता है यू नो इट सैग्स डाउन तो इट सैग्स डाउन तो जो इसका जो आगे वाला था दैट इज टीनिया लिबरा वो चला जाता है इंफीरियर और एंटरो इंफीरियर और जो इसका जो ये था इधर वाला लेटरल वाला ओमेंटेल वाला वो आ जाता है ऊपर एंटरो सुपीरियर और जो इसका वो था मीजोकोलिक बॉर्डर वो चला जाता है पोस्टीरियर ठीक सो so, यहाँ पे चेंज होता है एक तो ये टीनिया का तो इस वजह से क्या है कि एपेंडिसीज एपिक्लोइकम जो है ये ज्यादा इसमें दिखेगा ट्रांसफर्स कोलन एंड सिग्मोइड कोलन में अपेंडिसिस एपिक्लोइकम ज्यादा दिखता है ये जो टीनिया है ये टीनिया एपेंडिक्स से ही बनना शुरू होती है यानी टीनिया जैसे थ्रोट दी लेंथ लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन होता है इसको प्रोक्सिमल एंड ऑफ द थ्री टीनिया आर एक्चुअली कन्वर्जिंग टूवर्ड दी एपेंडिक्स एंड द टर्मिनल पोर्शन ऑफ दीज थ्री टीनिया कुलाई they actually diminish or faint out or you can say they become diffuse over the sigmoid colon colon yani ki tinea is not seen in the rectum now this is a good image of relations of the three different tinea with the different portions of the large intestine because they have given it a color coding so here you can see that tinea libera that they have given is a yellow code tinea omentalis is been given a red color code tinea mesocolica is the blue one right so this is the umbilicus and there is the spread of the large intestine as you know it now focus here in this transverse section of the ascending colon as you know it that there is this marginal artery of dromond right it was running along the inner border of the large intestine so from that marginal artery of dromond there was this vasa recta being given out and which unlike to the serosa that means the visceral peritoneum or from the retroperitoneal side runs over to the muscularis externa in the form of mural branches so the side where this vasa recta enters is called the mesocolic site and here you can see is the blue color tinea this is the tinea mesocolica the site of the large intestine towards which it is or it was attached to the 
mesentery because you know this ascending and descending colon including the rectum as well these were all a mesentery covered organs in the embryonic life but due to the different growth and modifications in the peritoneal relations these portions of the large intestine they again become retroperitoneal so these are called the secondary retroperitoneal organs so in such cases remember the tenia towards the mesenteric border is called tenia mesocolic and there is another tenia opposite to that from where the visceral peritoneum continues as the parietal peritoneum with a groove in between and that's called paracolic groove and the space here is called the paracolic gutters so towards the paracolic side you find tenia omentalis towards the mesentery it's mesocolica towards the omental side omental is that side which is opposite to the attachment of the mesentery so that is tenia omentalis and on to the free surface of the ascending and descending colon anteriorly it's this tenia libera libera means free so this is the free border these two borders are the fixed borders but this is a free border so anteriorly placed tenia on the ascending and descending colon is called tenia libera so remember that these ascending and descending colon they are partly covered by visceral peritoneum and this tenia lies beneath to that visceral peritoneum similarly you are seeing here this is the descending colon everything is same here also you have is this marginal artery of drummond and this is the vasa recta dividing into the mural trunks right so part of the viscera is covered by visceral peritoneum this is the free surface this is the anterior surface on to which you seeing is the tenia libera running this is the mesenteric border because you can see the blood vessels entering here so there you find is the tenia mesocolica and from here the visceral peritoneum continues with the parietal peritoneum so this is the omental side the side opposite to the attachment of the mesentery so there you find is another tenia called tenia omentalis so this is how it is in the descending colon now as i've already told you that how this transverse mesocolon and sigmoid mesocolon because of being attached to the mesentery they sag down so because transverse colon is connected to a transverse mesocolon and through which you get its blood supply so here also it is the same pattern you can see now this is how the transverse colon is suspended you are seeing is a transverse cut section so because it sags down what happens is this tenia libera which was free anteriorly comes to lie antero inferior while this tenia omentalis it comes to lie antero superiorly and tenia mesocolica as i told you will be towards the mesenteric border so because it's attached to the transverse mesocolon so you find that this tenia mesocolica comes to lie posteriorly in the transverse colon there's one more relation shown here because you know that the greater omentum which was sagging down from the greater curvature of the stomach with its first and second layer it ascends back with its third and fourth layer and it joins the transverse colon on its anterior surface so here you can see it's the greater omentum joining back the transverse colon and further ascending back towards the greater curvature of the stomach and this is called gastrocolic ligament so part of the greater omentum between the greater curvature of the stomach to the transverse colon that is called the gastrocolic ligament and the part of the greater omentum sagging down from below to this transverse colon is called greater omentum now there's an important thing that has to be noticed here in case of sigmoid colon sigmoid colon you know is in continuation with the descending colon so when it gets rotated because of being suspended downwards it gets folded downwards and inwards so here in this case tenia mesocolica as the name suggests it has to be towards the mesenteric border so it will stay posteriorly but the tenia libera here in the sigmoid colon will lie antero superiorly while the tenia omentalis will come to lie antero inferiorly right so you can compare this the relations of the three tenia in case of transverse colon and in case of sigmoid colon 
and also compare the relations of the three tinea in case of ascending and descending colon. This is just for your MCQ purpose. Imagine if they can give a single diagram of this section, cut section of any portion of the GIT and can even ask you that you're seeing is a transverse section is of which part of the GIT or of large intestine. So that's why it's important for your postgraduate entrance exams to understand the relations of the three different tinea.